Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about Bolshevism 2.0. Yes, that's what I think is the kind of overreaching, um, if you kind of pull back from everything, uh, I think that's what uh, globalist overlords are trying to bring on, a kind of Bolshevism 2.0. Stick around and I'll explain the theory. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Bolshevism 2.0, I think that's what's going on with our global world picture at the moment. It's got to be remembered that uh, people always talk about the great um, you know, crimes of the 20th century, and obviously the Nazis are constantly brought up, and the six million and all this kind of thing, but I think it should be remembered that um, communism and Marxism uh, killed over 120 million. Uh, that's a conservative estimate. Um, some have put the figure closer to 200 million people in the 20th century. So um, this... Uh, kind of line of left-wing thinking is, um, you know, if you just do it by the numbers, it's 20 times worse than the Nazis. And, um, you know, it, it's still taught on every university campus. So I think that it's incredibly dangerous. And, um, you know, what happened in Russia was, I guess, the first appearance of a serious kind of manifestation of Marxism. And obviously it played out in various other countries in the next, um, you know, 80 years or so. Obviously it, it sent Russia into a 70-year hell and it killed at least 50... 70 million Russians, you've just got to read Solzhenitsyn on that, he's written a number of books about the complete disaster of the Soviet Union and the left-wing um, radical lunatics who uh, were let loose upon humanity and the destruction they caused, the Bolsheviks, um, you know, obviously that had uh, ramifications, many other countries began to fall to the communist um, uh, kind of ideology. Obviously, there was China, which is, I mean, you know, there was a huge amount of suffering there with the Great Leap Forward and Mao. I mean, probably another 50, 70 million people approximately. And then you've got, you know, Castro, obviously. He was probably one of the less extreme dictators, but he still killed a lot of people uh, with Che. Um, you know, there was Pol Pot, obviously, and the genocide he committed there. Um, you know, there's an extraordinary list of human rights atrocities committed by um, the Marxist communist philosophy. Now, um, you know, obviously at the moment we're seeing a kind of new kind of Bolshevism. And obviously the original Bolshevism, the idea of the New World Order itself was an idea that was developed by Lenin and, and uh, was further spoken about by Trotsky. Um, so this is a kind of um, idea of the New World Order. It's something that emanates from Bolshevism itself. And I think due to the failure of the Soviet Union, the ideas of Bolshevism were, were put in distribute, and obviously through the writings of Solzhenitsyn and many other um, dissidents, um, the ideas of um, you know, Soviet communism and even Maoist communism have been put in, into ill repute uh, for good, damn, damn good reason. As I said, they're at least 20 times more destructive than Nazism. So there's a damn good reason for that. Um, but I think that we're seeing a kind of attempt um, from the global elites who are still addicted to this idea, the Bolshevik idea. And obviously it's going to be a different kind of Bolshevism because I do think it's a kind of mixture. I mean, obviously it's similar to what's going on in China. It's a mixture of kind of extreme capitalism mixed with the kind of radical uh, ideas of Marxist communism. So it's a kind of weird synthesis we're seeing. And um, I think this is there's an extreme danger here because obviously um, the, the originally, if you look at you know you look at a film like that fantastic film uh, with Warren Beatty, uh, Reds, which is all about the dangers of um, you know the original Bolshevik revolution. Now it betrays everybody, and uh, even the people who are organising it ending up in front of their own firing squads or whatever. You know, obviously you saw this in the Stalinistic purges. Um, so you know, I think it's incredible. Um, you know, we're heading into another kind of nightmare like that, and it's very important to discuss it right now because at the moment we can throw it off. You know, I mean, there was a time the Russians probably could have got rid of the um, the Bolsheviks if they knew what was coming, and we know what's coming, and it's fucking absolutely horrible. It's the greatest um, crime against humanity um, the world has seen, as Solzhenitsyn puts it, far worse than anything the Nazis got up to. So, um, you know, this is the danger I think we face, uh, and and um, you know, it's a very similar group of people who are behind behind it all and attempting, I believe, a kind of Bolshevism 2.0 and um, where there's the extreme wealthy elite uh, and then they want to make everyone else live under a kind of communistic style um, dictatorship and obviously you're seeing the, the terrain of that at the moment being spread out globally. Um, you know, all over the world through this COVID, um, you know, uh, totalitarianism and obviously, you know, through other things that they're attempting to bring in. I don't think it will succeed, but it's, I think it is the plan. And you see it even spout out things like the Great Reset and stuff. So, you know, um, but, you know, there is no, what is the overreaching kind of philosophy of it all? I believe it's a Bolshevism 2.0. And I think it's extremely dangerous. And I wanted you all to think about that because that's what I like to do here at the Report from Tiger Mountain. I just like to get you thinking. I don't like to tell you what to think. 
I just like to make you think for yourself, read about Bolshevism, read Solzhenitsyn, read um, philosophers on the left and right and get to know this ideology because it's extremely dangerous and I think someone is trying to implement it globally and we need to fight it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for listening. Report from Tiger Mountain. Cheers.